All right, this video is how to use the search functions in YouTube Studio Beta, and there's two ways you can do it. Um, first, if you look at the very top here, you have a little window just under your URL in your uh, Safari or whatever your browser is. And it says here, search across your channel. So if you want, and you know what the... Uh, you know what the name of the video is. Let's just put kite boarding in there. All right, Let's see what happens. That brings up a bunch of videos that have the word kite boarding in there. And it's really just brought up the last five videos that I posted that have the word kite boarding in it. So let's put, let's put kite boarding over sharks and kiteboarding over sharks second version. How about if we put kite border and see what happens? Nothing. Let's get rid of sharks and see what happens. Ah, here we go. Delray Beach kiteboarding kite border jumps over my head. Oh my god, kite border jumps over me. Kite borders versus windsurfers. So you can see you can narrow it down. If you know exactly what your title is, that's going to make it a lot easier. So that's one way you can search your own channel. My channel has 1,400 videos. So sometimes it's tough for me to uh, find a video. So if I click here, you notice how it darkens the screen and it highlights this. And then I bring my cursor over here, click here, it brings me back. Now another way you can do it is you can go to your video page, click on your video page, and you still have the search bar up here which you can use, but now they've got a way to filter your search. And in here you can just type. If you want to click on title first, you can put the, let's see, before we were doing kite board, right? Let's just put kite board and see what happens. And we're going to apply that. So now that's going to bring up a whole mess of videos that have the word kiteboard in that. So if it says kiteboarding, it's going to be there. Kiteboard, kiteboarder, it's going to be anything with kiteboard. And then you can scroll down and as you can see there's a bunch of them, right? Now let's say you want to filter the search more and you want to look at your videos that have over a certain number of views. So on here you're going to see there's a couple little spots here. It says greater than, equal to. Um, you can make it less or you can make it more. Whoops. More. So we want something greater than. So let's just put in there 10,000 views. I'm not putting in a uh, comma. So let's go ahead and try that. So I'm going to press that. And as you see, it goes into this little bar. And now all the videos that have over 10,000 views, you can look over here, 15,000 views, 16,000, 1,900,000 views, 193,000. So here's a 930,000. So it's narrowing it down. Now, if we want, we could go back in here. We, if we want to get rid of this, we can do that too. And it brings it back to the original. Click on it again. And visibility. So now you can look in here and you can see is it a public video? I want to look at the, my private videos, my unlisted videos, uh, or videos that I've scheduled. Now all of mine are public. All right, I think I might have two private videos. So let's do private videos. It's not going to find anything in kiteboarding because my private videos aren't kiteboarding. But let's go ahead and apply it and see what happens. So nothing comes up. But if I click this, bam, there's my one private video of my uh, niece singing a song, which is copyrighted. All right, so let's go back. Let's click out of here. And it brings me back to my original uh, page. So those are the ways that you can, uh, you can filter it. You can filter it by title, by description, by views, by visibility or by whether you're monetized or not. Let's click on monetize so you can see that box. 
So basically, you got monetized, not monetized, and limited. Um, that's another way that you can search your videos. They've limited some of mine. Let's go ahead and look at that so you can see. So these videos here, they deemed not suitable for advertisers. Some of them are under review. Some of them they've reviewed and they told me no way. <laughs> uh, but anyway, as you can see, it they do it to a lot of your videos. So you want to try to try to fix that if you can and have them review them. If you think that they're good and should be allowed uh, advertisers, you should review them. And the ones that have a lot, I would do that too. You know, but the other ones, you know, don't worry about. They usually don't review them unless you've got over a thousand views in the last, you know, month or so. So anyway, to do your filters and to do your searches, you come to this upside down three line pyramid. You click on it. It's going to bring up this box. You can go by title, description, views, visibility, and monetization. And, um, and that's the two ways that you can search through your own videos on your channel in your dashboard. If you like this video about Studio Beta, please subscribe to my channel. I've got probably, I don't know, a hundred videos on how to use Studio Beta because it's very complicated and intricate. So check them out. And as I said, please subscribe. Thanks.